everyone, it's me again, Mama Maria, and welcome to my channel. So for this video, we're going to discuss all about the percentage, the base, and the rate, okay? So the goal of this video is for you to understand well um, the meaning of this tree, okay? And of course, for you to understand also on how to solve the percentage, the base, and the rate, and of course, para mas madali nyo ding maintindihan kung ano ba yung hahanapin nyo sa tatlong yon Depende sa given problem. So what is a percentage? It is the variable in the percentage formula that represents a part of the base. Okay? While the base, it is the number represents 100% or the total value of something or the whole thing. So meaning to say, pag sinabi nating base, siya na yung pinaka- 100% while the rate it is the number of hundreds part taken this is the number followed by a percent sign so si rate daw yung merong percent sign eh? take a look si percentage and si rate para lang sila magkatulad di ba so ang pinagkaiba po ni percentage kay rate si percentage pa it, it express as, as a certain number certain number siya na kinuha natin kay base and dahanapin natin yung percent niya Okay? So, hindi siya yung merong percent sign. It's, it express as the certain number. Okay? So, while si rate naman, siya naman yung may percent sign or the number of hundreds part taken. Okay, so take a look at this. And mas madali nating matatandaan ang formula ni percentage, base, and rate using this triangle. Okay, how are we going to derive those formula using this triangle? So, like for example, we're going to find the percentage. So, ganito. Si percentage, as you can see, nasa taas, di ba? Sabihin na natin equal itong line na to. So, we have P is equal to since si R and si B is magkatabi, then we are going to multiply R to base. Yan. So, the formula of the percentage is R times B. Kasi magkatabi sila. Sabihin na natin multiply yan, ha? Multiply. Okay, now, what if naman si rate naman yung kukunin natin, ma'am? So, mag-derive ulit tayo ng formula ni rate. So, we have R. Alright. And as you can see, si P and si B na lang yung natira since si R yung hahanapin natin. Kapag magkatabi sila, we're going to multiply. While... Kapag naman nasa taas si P and nasa baba si B, then it is division. Tama? So, P over B. And that is the formula of the rate. Okay? So, paano naman ma'am si B? So, ganun din. Para lang din siyang si rate. B is equal to since si P is nasa taas. So, we have P over R. Okay? So, ganun lang kasimple. Tandaan nyo lang to. Itong pinaka-triangle na to. Then, as simple as that, madali nyo nang matatandaan si formula while nasa exam kayo. Like, for example, nakalimutan nyo yung formula ni percentage. Isipin nyo lang to, no? Naka nakalagay nyo siya sa isip nyo. Madali nyo siyang matatandaan. Ito na yan. Legit as in. Okay, so again, we have percentage is equal to rate times base. Ito siya. Rate is equal to percentage over base. And base is equal to percentage over rate. Okay, so pag hanapin nyo si percentage, si rate, and base, mag-derive lang kayo ng formula using this triangle, which is PRB. Pwede din siyang maging PBR, ha? Or magkapalit itong dalawa. Magkatulad lamang yun. So, take a look at example number 1. We have 30% of 70 is what number? Okay, so in solving percentage base and rate, hindi lang dapat alam natin yung formula. Ano? Kailangan alam din natin mag analyze ng given. Like for example, dapat alam natin kung ano ba si 30%. Is it percentage base rate Ano ba si 70? Is it percentage, base, or rate? So, kailangan marunong tayo mag-analyze and able for us to know kung ano ba yung hinahanap natin. Okay? So, the first step is to identify what is missing. So, in able for us to do that, 
you have to read the problem. Like for example, 30% of 70 is what number? Sinabi ba dito kung anong hanapin mo? Kung anong formula ang gagamitin mo? Diba hindi? So, kailangan marunong tayong mag-identify ng given in able for us to know the formula. Okay, so take a look at this. Sabi dyan, 30% of 70 is what number? When we say 30%, ano ba yung sinabi natin kanina? Kapag may percent sign, siya yung tinatawag nating rate. So, of 70 is what number? So, ang hinahanap dito is a certain number. Okay? Certain number which is 30%. Yung number na 30% kay 70. Okay? So, meaning to say si 70 ang tinatawag nating base. At nalaman na natin that rate and base are given. So, meaning to say, the formula that are we going to use is the percentage formula. The next step is isipin nyo naman kung paano nyo ba nakuha yung formula, no? So, with the triangle PRB, so, si P yung inahanap natin, meaning to say, si percentage rate times base. So, we have the rate is 30% times the base is 70 Okay, so as you can see, may perform nyo na ba yung operation kung may percent sign pa dyan? Di ba hindi? What are you going to do is to divide 30 to 100%. Um, para mas madali nyo makuha yung tamang sagot, hindi na kayo magka-calculator para lang i-divide. So, ganito na lang ng gawin nyo, no? So, 30. Divide 100, tama? So, as you can see, meron tayong dalawang 0 kay 100. Ayan. So, ang gagawin nyo from, from right to left, lang kayo dyan, no, ng dalawa. Kasi we have two zeros, okay? So, ilalagay nyo yung point dito. So, 0 0.30 is the correct answer. So, 0 0.30 times 70. Then, calculate 0 0.30 times 70 is equal to 21. So, the percentage is 21. Meaning to say, si 30% ng 70 ay 21. Okay, so take a look at this another example. The number 5 is 25% of what number? Okay, so kapag nakita nyo na may percent sign, automatically it's the rate itself. So, sabi dito, si number 5 daw ay 25% ng anong number? So, by that, alam na natin na si 5 is the percentage. Why? Because sabi dyan, it is the 25% ng kung anong number yon. Sabi ko nga ba si percentage and si rate, parehas lang sila. Ang pinagkaiba nga lamang, si rate ay yung may percent sign, while si percentage, siya yung certain number, okay, ng rate. By that, alam na natin kung anong hinahanap natin, which is the base. Tama. What is the formula of the base from the triangle or dun sa mnemonic na binigay ko kanina? We have PRB. So, base is equal to P over R. Tama. Or percentage over R. So, we have B is equal to our percentage is 5 over rate is 25%. So, remember, lagi nyo lang gagawing we divide yung 25% to 100, enable for you to solve it well. Like 5, so hanapin natin yung 25%. 25 divide 100, which is hindi nyo na kailangan gumamit ng calculator kasi pwede na nyo naman siyang gawing ganito. So, 0 0.25, since dalawa yung 0, dalawang step then 1, 2. So, the answer is 5 divided by 0 0.25 is equal to 20. So, ang pinaka-base natin ay si 20. And, sabi dyan, si 5 is 25% ni 20. Okay, so, take a look at the third example. We have 20 is what percent of 60? So, ayan na tayo, no? As you can see, wala na yung percent sign. Meaning to say... Kapag ganito yung problem, nakita nyo na wala si percent sign, ano yung hahanapin natin? The rate. Okay. Yung, si, si rate na yung hahanapin natin kasi nakita naman na natin na wala si percent sign. So, we have rate. Alam na natin na si rate is si percent sign. Ano ang formula ni 
rate so we have percentage over base tama and by that we have to identify from the problem itself kung alin ba si percentage sa dalawa and alin si base sa dalawa so as you can see sabi dyan 20 is what percent si 20 is what percent or rate meaning to say si 20 yung tinatawag nating percentage okay. over si 60 is the base tama kasi sabi dyan si 20 daw ay anong percent ni 60 so anong percent si rate yon okay while si 20 is si percentage kasi partner silang dalawa diba sana all make a partner Chow. okay so we have 20 over 60 Divide nyo lang yan, okay? Using your calculator or kung kaya nyo namang imano-mano, do we it. We have 20 divided by 60 is equal to 0 0.33. Actually, so maraming 3 yan. So, kinuha ko nalang yung first 4. 0 0.33. And by that, you are just going to convert it into percent. How are you going to convert it into percent? You are going to multiply it to... 100. Kapag nag-convert kayo ng decimal to percent, so hindi nyo na kailangan gumamit ng calculator. So, ganito lang yung gagawin nyo. From the point itself, so from left to right ang move nyo. Since 100 is dalawa yung 0, ibig sabihin 2 moves yung gagawin natin. So, we have 1, 2. Okay, so the answer is 33 point 33 percent so ganun lamang kasimple si 20 ay 33.33 percent ni 60 or ni base so done with the examples i hope you have learned something from this um discussion and thank you thank you so much everyone for watching no kalimutang mag subscribe mag like share ito sa mga friends nyo and mag-comment ng suggestions. So, kagaya nga ng palagi kong sinasabi, always remember to make your day productive by gaining knowledge. So, yun lang. See you on my next match tutorial. God bless everyone.